Hello folks, it's uh, the 29th of April and I've been working on the on the caravan again and one of the ideas that we had whilst um, we made the veranda on the front was to build a, a, a little extension on, on the veranda and then to create a fire pit um, around it so we could sit out and uh, on summer's evenings. And so I started that yesterday, I'll show you. There we go. So there's the, the veranda. Started the cladding, but um, the sawmill uh, at Otter Ferry has uh, got a bearing gone at the moment, so I can't get hold of any more cladding just yet. So um, anyway, I, I've put the uh, six by two all along the front, and then I've brought it out like this. Uh, to create this extra bit of space which will be decked but I've I'm going to build a stone fire pit in the center which will come up I don't know maybe 18 inches or so above above the the deck and then we can sit around this and, and have a fire now there before we moved here there was a there was a, a stone cottage that was over where that caravan is that was demolished by the previous owners I think eh, close to two years ago now and we've discovered that the stone uh, that was left after the demolition was pushed over this bank at the back so I've slowly been reclaiming it with uh, with the digger so we've got a big pile of stone there as my mate Andy would say in Canada that pile rocks and over here, I've got some that, uh, that that I took out by hand a few months ago, so they've been sitting in the rain a bit longer. So they're all they're all a bit cleaner now. So this is what I'm going to use to build the fire pit. Now, in the back of my head, somewhere I have seen, I think it must have been on YouTube or somewhere, um, somebody using the drum from an old washing machine as uh, a campfire. So, I remembered that there is a scrap washing machine here. Again, there was some stuff left by the previous owners, which we've kind of collected out. There's an old fridge here, and a, one day we're going to get a run of stuff to the dump. This is all a scrap. And there we are. We have a washing machine. So I'm going to take the drum out of that and check it for size. And I think it, I mean, it'll be a bit on the small side, but I think probably that will do and uh, I'll take that out and use that as a centerpiece of the fire and then build stone around it so that's the plan a bit we're after. Right, worth checking there's no plastic. Some uh, some drums have got plastic in here. This one's all metal, so obviously you don't want a plastic in the middle of your fire. So the upshot of all that is that in order to get the drum out you have to well, take off everything that is 
attached. So any nut or bolt or wire you see, just take it all off, get it out of the way. The drum is inside, I've already taken it out now, but the drum is inside that. And there's this hoop here, which, which goes around, which goes around this edge and is, is bolted up. And that, that holds this onto this outer drum. So once you, once you can get that off, then the drum comes out. I've already taken it out now. But this gives me another thought. So this is my thought. That's the bearing that the drum is driven into, so it spins. So here's the drum with the shaft that's driven into that bearing. So we just turn it all upside down. And drop that in. We could have a revolving fire pit. No. Um, so what I can do now is I'll use this as the base because I'm raising this deck up I'm going to put a deck in all around this at this height um, which will go right into the veranda what I'll do, I've got some concrete blocks ordinary, you know, regular 18 inch by 9 inch by 4 inch concrete blocks so I'll build them up at the bottom sit this on that as a base which makes this easily removable which means it's easy to get out and clean it. I'm just going to lay them. They're, they're laid just dry at the moment, loose. I'm going to I'm going to mortar them in. For one thing, the ground's not level, so that'll mean I can level everything up. And I'm just going to lay them so that they just just hold this base plate. That will come out. And then um, I've just laid that bit of six by two across there, just to get some idea where the deck is going to come. So if I, if I raise that up maybe another two courses, you can see the top of the, that, that drops in there. That. So obviously it doesn't rise as quickly when you're only laying them on edge, but if I lay them that way round, it means by the time I get to the deck level, I can then uh, I'll lay, I'll lay a piece in in here to fill in this gap on the on the last of the block courses, and then that gives me a really nice base to start fixing all the stone, which are going to be around that kind of size, and then I can just build the stone around the drum. And I think it's going to work really nicely. Yeah.
5th of May.